Ola here coming at you from my local lake. Been out here since seven. That's four hours and 40 minutes. And uh, I've caught fish, but I can't, just cannot get on the big ones. I had one gigantic one that I missed. He was chasing a fluke. He hit it three times. And the last time was right at the boat. I just wasn't expecting him to come in and follow it like that. But my fault, I could have had a five, five plus. He was big. I think I got a picture of him jumping out of the water. Got a video of him. So, yeah, I couldn't get on the big ones, but today is the last, probably the last warm day, maybe for the year, I don't know. It's supposed to be about 88. Water temperature is at 81 and a half right now. We got a front moving in tonight and the high tomorrow will be 70. So almost 20 degrees cooler. North winds, that whole nine yards for the next couple weeks. So I figured I'd better get out here today while I could enjoy it without cold wind. Let me tell you, it's an adjustment to come back to my Florida shallow murky fisheries, back to my soft plastics. I tried a crankbait, I threw a spinnerbait, threw a jerkbait, Senko, did best probably on the rage crawl, and then I put on a fluke. But uh, yeah, quite an adjustment from those deep, crystal clear waters up north. So yes, I will miss the northern waters, but let me tell you, in the next say month or so, our waters are gonna be on fire. And I do have some trips coming up, tentatively, that we may have to reschedule or whatever, but I have Silver Springs, I have Hillsborough River, I have South Florida, and that's just three. There'll be some more coming. Can't wait to get back down to South Florida. Get on with some peacocks. I still need to go back and try for my clown knife and my snake head. I got my peacock, but I didn't get the other two. So there's my goal on the next trip. Hi, duck. How about if we just roll today's warm welcome back to Florida fishing footage? Good morning, folks. It is 7.04 on Thursday, October 29th, which would have been my brother's 61st birthday. Happy birthday in heaven, Peanut. Time is flying so fast, guys. Ooh, so fast. Well, I'm back in Florida after five weeks, five and a half weeks of the Wonder Tour cut a little short due to some technical difficulties but uh, those are being worked out technical difficulties in a hurricane that was plowing through the the uh, Louisiana Mississippi Alabama area so we are home safely now let's see if we can get out here and hook into some of these Florida bass that probably have missed me so today is the last day before a cold front moves in. Cold front, I mean, I have 70 something tomorrow, 76. Let's throw my uh, Strike King Bus King. So yeah, we're, we're the day before a front. Let's see if I can get on something real quick here. Throw the spook and just walk it really slowly. Mm. Oh, you guys hear that? There's something over in that bush. That was a nice loud pop. Sounded like a decent fish. Let's see if we can get his attention. He missed it. It's 
my favorite time to fish, guys. Fish are real hungry. And there's one. Oh, it got off. I didn't set the hook. He's still after it. <clears throat> oh my goodness. That was a persistent fish because uh, I let him go. <laughs> I let him go and he came after it again and again. Dumb me. First fish of the day. Boom. One little bass on the boat. Oh, look at my Florida darkie. Look at that bass. Holy smokes, look how dark. Look at that bass. Let me get this out gently. Look how dark that bass is. Back to my Florida darkies. Best one of the day. Not saying much. There we go, third fish. Nothing huge. That might be the fish of the day, I don't know. That's a better one. Oh, that's a strong fish. Oh, it just came off. I think I'm gonna change out this hook. For whatever reason, I am not getting hooked up. Like I said, this is a super line gamma. That was a good fish. This big old hook isn't penetrating. I don't have the strength to do it, I guess. I don't know. I'm about to change it though. Yeah, for today's bite, for whatever reason, I'm not able to stick them. Not like I should be. There's number four right in the nose. Sit still and I will help you. Number four. fish. Right there's one. Best fish of the day. Oof, dude, what are you doing? There we go. Number five. Nothing spectacular. This crawl has been the best bait this morning. He's in the grass. And he gets off. Thunderbirds. That's the Thunderbirds, guys. Ooh, where's the air show? There's two more. Oh, I love them. I love the Thunderbirds. Love the Blue Angels. Where is the air show? 
Maybe there's one this weekend. And they're flying in so they can get in, get some practice. See, these fish are hitting it, but they are not eating it. That one just hit it twice. Hitting it, but not eating it. Mm. That's a bigger fish, too. We made a big swirl. Gosh darn it. That was a big fish. <sighs> Got in the grass. Got off. You guys see that? What the heck? Man, I don't get it. I'm going to expose my hook this time. It's exposed. That's twice in a row. Bam, something hit it as soon as it hit the water. Something's on it, guys. Feels like more like a bluegill. A bluegill. Oh, it's a good fish. Got a decent one. That's a decent fish. We're gonna weigh that one. It's not heavy, but he's long. Oh, he's got sharp teeth. Barely hooked. I'm talking barely hooked. Let's get a uh, length on him. Just for the heck of it. Seventeen and a half. He's probably two and a half pounds. Here goes the blue angel or the thunderbirds again. Best fish of the day. Oh. oh my god, I just got broke off. God, that was a giant. Still after it. Oh my god. That was a five pounder. He came all the way to the boat for it. God, I didn't know he was still following it. Oh, I would've let him eat it. Dang, that was heart stopping. Oh, he missed it again. That's, oh my gosh. Bit the tail off. Another little guy. All right, stop. Get you out of here before I blow. Number eight. Oh gosh, my hand. Whoa. He ate it right away, but he got me tangled up too. 
It might still be on there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dark, dark bass. Number nine. No, he hasn't swallowed it. It's in a gill. Oh, there it is on the outside. Let's just unhook that. Gently. Let's get it through this gill without, ow, destroying either one of us. All right. Beautiful dark bass. It's like number nine. last second nab right there. Two feet of line out. Followed in that grass. Little dinkaroos. Right back in there is good, but I don't know if I can get in there without getting too torn up. Whoa. See, he's in there. There is a fish in there. There's a fish in there. Oh yeah, that'll get it. Mm. It's number 10. Yeah, they're eating, but dang, there's nothing of size. Number 10. Oh, he left, let himself go. Mm -hmm.